Good day everyone. Today, I will show you a video presentation of my lesson in Mathematics 5 which is Estimating Decimal Product. So let's start. Good morning children. Before we begin our lesson, I want you to multiply the factors orally. When I say orally, you are not allowed to solve on your paper, in the air, nor count your fingers. Then, I want you to write your answer on your show me board. Is that clear? Yes, teacher! So let's start. 5 times 10. Go! Show me your answer. The correct answer is 50. You all got the correct answer. Next, 6 times 100. Go! Stop writing. Show me your answer. So the correct answer is 600. Correct. Next, 35 times 1,000. Go. <coughs> 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop writing. Show me your answer. Rian, show me your answer. Okay. So the correct answer is 35,000. Correct. Next, 3,468 times 10,000. Go! 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Stop writing. Show me your answer. So the correct answer is... 34,680,000. Amazing! You all got the correct answer. Next one. 28 times 100,000. Go! 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Show me your answer. Let's see. So the correct answer is... 2,800,000. Congratulations! You all got the correct answer. Why don't you give yourselves a very good clap? So, one, two, three, go! This time, I want you to round the following decimals to the indicated place value. Is that clear? So let's have the first number. Six and five hundred fifty-seven thousands. Round it off to the nearest tenths. Go. Show me your answer. The correct answer is six and six tenths. Correct. Next. Six and eight hundred nine thousands. Round it off to the nearest hundreds. Go. Show me your answer. Congratulations. The correct answer is 6 and 81 hundreds. Next. 1 and 358 thousands. Round it off to the nearest hundreds. Go. Show me your answer. <clears throat> the correct answer is 1 and 36 hundredths. Correct. Next. 32 ten thousands. Round it off to the nearest thousands. Go. Show me your answer. The correct answer is 3 thousands. Last. 23 and 254 thousands rounded off to the nearest ones. Go. Show me your answer. 
show me your answer. Okay, congratulations because the correct answer is 23. You all did great today. This time, I will show you a newspaper ad from a grocery store. I want all of you to look at the advertisement. So this is the advertisement from a grocery store. Okay, so what is the ad about? Shelly Ann? These are the products with discounted price. Okay, which among the products are good for your body? Tyler. For Tyler, it's an apple. What else? Rian. Milk for Rian. How about the others? Darren. Okay, for Darren, it's water. Let's have the next question. Which are not healthy for you? Saisa. Okay, potato chips, hot dogs, and gummy bears. If you were to buy one product from the list, what would it be and why? Let's have Pauline. So you will buy tray of eggs. How about the others? Job. Apples for job. Assume that your mother have seen the same advertisement and asked you to buy milk. If one liter of milk costs 15 pesos and 50 centavos, then how much will you pay for 6 and 5 tenths liters of milk? Now, what is asked in the problem? Margin. Okay, very good. How about the given in the problem? What are the given? Eldritch. Liters, okay. <clears throat> then what operation should be used in the problem? Valerie? Yes, you are correct. We need to multiply or the operation to be used in the problem is multiplication. Now, the phrase about how much indicates that we need to estimate. Estimate. To solve this problem, we will estimate the product of these decimal factors. In order for you to solve that, I will give you different strategies. Let's have the first strategy you need to round both factors to the nearest ones so the factors in the problem are 15 and 5 tenths and 6 and 5 tenths we are going to round both factors to the nearest ones the new factors now will be 16 and 7 so multiplying 16 and 7 we will have 112 Therefore, the estimate product is 112 pesos. That is strategy 1. Let's have another strategy. Strategy 2. Round one factor up and one factor down. You are going to decide which factor you are going to round up and which factor you are going to round down. For me, for these factors, I will round down 15 and 5 tenths into 10. Then I will round up 6 and 5 tenths to 10. The final factors now are 10 and 10. So multiplying 10 
and 10, we will arrive at 100. The estimate product now is 100 pesos. The actual answer is 100 pesos and 75 centavos. So both estimates are reasonable. However, for this problem, the second strategy was easier to use. Now let's have another strategy, strategy number three, and that is using compatible numbers to estimate the product. First, we need to define what are compatible numbers. So compatible numbers are the numbers that are easy to add, subtract, multiply, or divide mentally. Compatible numbers are close in the value to the actual numbers that make estimating the answer and computing problems easier. So, let's have an example. The estimated product of 46 and 5 tenths and 2 and 4 tenths. So, let's solve for this. The factors are 46 and 5 tenths and 2 and 4 tenths. Now, using compatible numbers, we will now have new factors. 50 and 2. Multiplying now both factors, we arrive at the answer 100. The estimate product now is 100. So that is strategy 3, using compatible numbers. Now let's have another strategy and that is rounding both factors down and then both factors up to find a range for the product. Let's take a look at this example. Estimate the product 78, I mean 74 and 8 tenths times 5 and 7 tenths. So first, we need to round both factors down. Rounding both factors down, we will arrive at 70 and 5 as your factors. So multiplying now 70 and 5, we will have 350 as the product. Next. Round both factors up. Rounding both factors up will give us factors 80 and 6. So multiplying now 80 and 6, we will have 480 as our product. Now, let's try one problem. Which of the following will provide the closest estimate for 38 and 73 hundredths times 17 and 4 tenths? Is it letter A, 40 times 20 equals 800? Letter B, 30 times 20 equals 600? Letter C, 40 times 10 is 400? Or letter D, 30 times 10 equals to 300? Solve it in your show me board. Then write only the letter of the correct answer. Go. So you have answered letter B. Let's see if you get the correct answer. Okay. So the correct answer now is Letter B, 30 times 20 is equal to 600. So the correct answer is letter B. Now, how are we going to estimate decimal product? So the goal is to give you a reasonable estimate. Now, for the application, I will group you into three. And for each group, you will have different activities from each group. So for the first group, you are going to write a story about the shopping list. Then second, solve and present the solution of the problem. And third, for the third group, you are going to do a reflection journal. So, start. 
So that ends my presentation. Good day, everyone.